everybody. How we doing? Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, um, number one, before we get started, I want to congratulate our football program. Uh, Coach Flem has been a, you know, a great person to to me and our staff since showing up. Their staff's terrific, and you know, interact with their players on a daily basis because we're all in the same facility. And uh, can't tell you how happy we are uh, for those guys and uh, just the uh, historic season that they've been able to have. And um, I know that they got their selection to the playoff today for next Saturday with the home game. And that'll be, uh, that'll be a great environment. The spirit on campus with what they've done this season has been really fun to see. So I want to congratulate them. For us, uh, you know, clearly our best performance of the, of the year against the best team that we've played. And um, you know, I thought our guys the last three or four days really understood the challenge that we had. And for the first time in a while, um, defensively, we were on it. You know, for long stretches, we were smart, we were disciplined. And, um, you know, I thought Javante impacted the game in a big way around the rim. And then our perimeter guys, I thought, did a pretty good job of, uh, of containing. And, um, you know, it made, made it difficult. Probably wasn't their best game. You know, obviously, you know, uh, we've seen them enough to know that they're they're going to be really hard to deal with as the season goes down the line. But, you know, for our guys, proud of the way we competed and defended, played mature and played disciplined. And, um, you know, we looked the part of every guy that checked in the game being able to really have an impact on both ends. But um, a lot of guys stepped up. And, uh, you know, Sebastian continues to, to lead our, our group. I thought Javante was terrific. Jamarcus, um, you know, being able to step up and make some shots as well. But if you look down the line, there's tremendous contributions all the way from, you know, Dresa and David combined for 15 rebounds, five offensive. Um, that, that pair did a you know, great job when they checked in the game. And I also thought, you know, although it wasn't a very loud game, I thought that, you know, Cam and House were really impactful as well, you know, in their roles coming in. We were able to play with long stretches with fresh guys. So credit to our group. I'm happy for our guys. Got to stay humble here. And at the end of the day, kind of stay with the process and the grind. And uh, we're off to Jacksonville this week. And uh, we'll have a back-to-back -back Wednesday, Thursday. Tournaments are always hard. Uh, but we have a chance at least tomorrow to go to, go to school and have a normal day before we take off um, for next week. But uh, happy with our guys. Questions? Coach, you've played all five games so far inside the Ryan Center. First regular season game away from home coming up down in Florida. How do you take what you've learned about your squad here and translate it on the road? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I think that playing UConn in October in Mohegan was, you know, one of the real reasons we did that. You know, that was, the lights were bright. We were in 10,000 people or 8,000 people on playing the, you know, two-time defending champs. We wanted to kind of see very early on what we would look like in adverse conditions. So I think being able to get our chance to see our guys go out there and prepare for a road game, get on the bus, do, we did that, you know. And as we go to Florida, you know, whether it's the first game, the second game, we're going to deal with adversity, you know, but I think defense travels. That's one message that we're going to have to take down there. You don't go into those tournaments thinking you're going to shoot it well or, or you know, you, you go in there ready to compete and defense travels. We're going to have to be, you know, even better as we get into Wednesday. Um, you know, we have a glaring weakness. It just is what it is. We don't rebound the ball with the damn. Uh, we just don't from all five positions on the floor. Defensive rebound. We don't, we don't defensive rebound. Uh, well enough at all. And I know, I think we're, we're, Detroit's right on the schedule next, so you're obviously asking what's going on. And uh, they're a phenomenal offensive rebounding team. Always have been with Mark Montgomery coming from Tom Izzo. They're going to you know, present problems. But all year long, our biggest hole right now is you're kind of saying, like, how high of a ceiling do we have? It's really limited when you don't rebound. And uh, if you don't re rebound on the road or in neutral settings, you know, games can feel funny. You know, sometimes at home you can get away with it, but uh, we'll be fine. You know, I'm not. I'm not anticipating us being really out of kilter because we're traveling. Archie, the, the way you guarded them the first four minute segments, just what sort of tone did that set? Yeah, it's good to see like the the tone setting at the jump ball where a road team feels, oh man, you know it's gonna be a little different today. You know, and I think that being able to set the tone with our perimeters, but I also think Javante had a big impact early in the game around the basket. You know, they blocked a couple. Um, they missed a few, I think, just due to the fact that he was around there. Um, I thought Dave's preparation in terms – he didn't score a ton of points tonight, but defensively from a game plan perspective, Dave Green was on it. You know, he really helped our team in terms of being a helper. And um, 
But yeah, I mean, I know when we go on the road and get smashed in the first four minutes of the game, it's like, well, well you know, hopefully we can re hang in here, hang in here a little bit. And you're a little nervous, but you know, it's nice to be at home to be able to get off to good starts and to put the other team on the road a little bit under the under the pressure of like this is going to be a little difficult tonight. But I thought de defensively. I thought defensively we definitely had an impact in the game. Coach, it looked like you really moved the ball well today. I remember one play in the second half, there were four passes around the perimeter to come yeah. out of the open guy. You hit the three, you had 20 assists. Quite a bit different than Lafayette last game. Different style. You know, I thought that, you know, Charleston was really trying to impact um, our guards a lot. They didn't want us to get into the paint. They put two on the ball, they hedged. They were going to require us to, you know, be able to get it out of there and, and make extra passes. They play a one three one, which we were very concerned about, not getting, you know, out of kilter with that. But you know, we had twenty assists on thirty four field goals. Sebastian had another double double, uh, but we also had some other guys really, you know, share the ball. And the one possession in front of our bench was really it was a it's a classic, you know. So were you, uh, your answer was it not so much that you made improvements there, or was it the dynamic of this game and the style of defense, or a little of both? No, I mean, we're, we're striving to become a better team passing. We're striving to become a better team sharing the ball. I mean, it's a big emphasis every single post-game edit and every single game going in. It's continuing to hit open men in transition, get easy baskets in the half court, changing sides, becoming more confident with one another. But it's it's not as if you know our team has been un, you know selfish as we're coming in here. We're just going to have to be a little bit more patient. Teams aren't going to continue to just let us get to the basket. So we're going to have to make better reads. But, you know, we have a point guard right now that, I don't know, he's probably about 35 assists to uh, six turnovers on the season. And um, Yeah, he was eighth in the country, but he had three turnovers today. He did. He was sloppy. He was sloppy a few times today. Uh, he was careless. But when you, have a, when you have a point guard like Sebastian, it makes life easy sometimes on everybody. Coach, a lot was made about Charleston's uh, first and pitches start to the season, just how weak he's been as a scorer. But you guys shut him down today. You know, I think everything, you know, you know, he, he's clearly a, a really good player. And he's off to a fantastic start. And coming in, he was around 26 a game. And he's, he's going to do it night in and night out. He's a good player. Uh, we were, you know, dialed in in terms of scouting reports and what we're trying to do. But we had size. You know, we had size at the at the basket. I thought David's strength around the rim, and I also thought that Javante, in particular, around the basket, he's really crafty. You know, he's not a guy that elevates over top. He he slides around you. He uses the baseline. So just being able to stay in between him and the rim at times is just the best defense you could have. Uh, but he's really good. I mean, uh, you know, his numbers speak for themselves against a good schedule. And I won't be surprised at all if he's not a Player of the Year type of candidate or a guy that, as they continue to move down the line, isn't able to you know, will them to championship. That team is a lot better than they played today. And I think that Chris, you know, obviously I don't have to speak his praise. He's a great coach. And I think at the end of the day, they're gonna have a great year. Archie, what, what about the focus, the application to, to really you know, not allow them to make any sort of run and yeah. push this at, at any point? We won all five, you know, four minute segments at, at halftime. And, you know, clearly when you're coming out of halftime, you're worried about what's the what's their adjustments or what are you gonna do? And, and, and part of it was, we have to have maturity and some discipline at the end of the day, some leadership to not go out there and let everybody, you know, kind of like, ah, you know, you know, we've been there before where the, the team comes out of half and they score 14 points. And it's like, you know, so for the first time, I think we were able to weather some adjustments at halftime and then we were able to continually score, which is good. But, you know, defensively over the course of the 40, it's by far the most complete game. And if you defend, you're going to be in business. Any other questions? All good? All right. Enjoy the holiday. Folks. Enjoy the holiday. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see everybody back home for the football game on Saturday, I guess.